Okay, everybody, a couple of weeks ago, my buddy Gavin, It's Just a Six, showed me what race sim was all about. He let me drive, or rather, use his race sim for a little bit on his Twitch stream, twitch.tv slash it's just a six. And after that, I was hooked, and I decided I needed to build one myself. Now, I sat down on my live stream and designed one in front of everybody with the assist of some of my Twitch viewers. So here is the result of that. Also, please ignore my childish drawing. I'm doing my best here. It's been a minute since I've done any work on a drawing tablet. But yes, I am a grown child who does scribbles, so be nice to me. I forget how to use this tablet. It's been a, about a year since I've used it. I mean, this has been stressing me out, man. I'm not gonna lie. I've been stressing out about designing this. This is my process. It gets crazy. Like, my fucking process to designing shit is off. So I'm gonna show you guys some of my ideas here. Here's my, my mounting hardware idea, essentially. I wanna design something that's adjustable for the TV stand. That's a big one. I think this, this project's gonna kinda test my abilities as a fabricator a little bit more than I'm expecting but I'm really excited to get started on it, so, yeah. Right, like, look at this guy. He's making his out of fucking wood. A lot of people actually make them out of wood. PVC is another popular another popular way of making it because it's it's cheap and it's stable. If you get really strong, thick PVC, you can do whatever you want. Do you know about the treat in my pocket? Is that what you're bugging me about? I forgot that I had a treat in my pocket. He's been staring at me, looking at me like, I bought round tubing, so I'll be bending the tube probably. Uh, I think tubing also looks cooler if we're gonna like get it like honestly like this one I look at this one a lot. I don't want to play your YouTube video as, as much as I appreciate it Red Nick 79 the great video by the way. I'm just looking for the image. Can I pull your thumbnail? Yeah, this one I look at this build a lot because I think that this build has some some great potential. The only thing I don't like about it is there's zero adjustability. I think maybe the steering wheel, it looks like there might be a, like a track slider on there to knock it backwards and forwards, but the TV is hard mounted. It's close to you, it's very close. And then the seat has no adjustability. It's a hard seat. So not only do I wanna be able to use this, but like, let's say in the future, I sell it to upgrade a bigger rig. I want there to be adjustability here for whoever's gonna use it. Or including people, like I got tall friends, you know, like uh, Zorby. Beep boop Dan is building Beep cool Dan shit. Is building cool shit. Let's see. Let's pull up some more references. These are also great. Op Let me turn this down just a little bit too. This is blaring in my ear. These are also great options if you want to make your own. You can buy this sliding aluminum rail track online for relatively cheap. And if you have a like a wood cutting saw, like a miter saw, you can actually use a miter saw with the right blade. You can use a miter saw to cut the tracks to length. Because they're aluminum. Steel saws that are designed for wood literally cut aluminum almost just as good. So if you have a miter saw, you can just cut the track yourself and then you can do your own like locking um, nuts that you can find on the internet. Like you can build something like this for super fucking cheap. Like this is actually a great setup. If you're gonna go for like some, some DIY stuff, like this is fantastic, right? I like that, I like that. I, I, but I don't wanna do that. I want something that looks more like this. And there's a couple of things here that are important. Uh, dimensions are a big one. There's certain spots that you wanna put, like how far you wanna put your pedals. They're supposed to be at an angle. So the reason why this one's good is because it, it offers, it's, it's very budget friendly. You can do this with a welder and some spray paint. You buy a $100 welder from like Harbor Freight with Flux Core, you can make something like this. And this is great because it offers adjustability. Pretty much everything is basically Picatinny. Like everything's modular. You just slide it along the track. You want to adjust your your pedals. You want to adjust your uh, steering wheels. You just move them back. So um, something like that is great. I'm gonna steal some ideas from that probably. And we can start looking at really budget stuff. This is actually a great example of like shape and profile for a pedal and, and seat combo. It's modular, adjustability right here. You also have adjustability in the seat. The seat can go back and forth six or seven inches or so. Yeah, these are all these are all good examples. And another big thing that we have to consider is that we have a 50 inch TV that weighs about 30 pounds. So like this one is obviously like a 300 bucks. It has bad ratings. The part that interests me is the adjustability in the pedals. This one's the hinge. So it hinges off of this bolt. And then this bolt goes through and that's adjustable into maybe eight to 10 places. So this, you can adjust the height of the pedals. Oh, let's say you're a taller person. You just fucking move the bolts. You just can just, I mean, this one's maxed out here, but like it's very, it's super simple. Like it's, it's fantastic how simple though it is. And I'm right now I'm gonna use Photoshop. I also have a drawing program. Every time oh, you make us pay you bits Hot and subs. I literally tell you not to. I tell everybody in here, do not donate bits or don't, you don't have to sub. Like the best part about this and all my YouTube content is that it's fucking free. The reason why I'm drawing it is because I don't know how to use CAD. I have zero idea how to use CAD. BRB my tits be farting and shit. So like the idea for the, for the tube here is like, I want this to be the tube frame, right? Howdy, Howdy bitch. bitch. 
Yeah, my Photoshop's a, a copied version, it's not a real version, downloaded illegally, so it doesn't really act right all the time. I have this idea, so let's let's say that this is what we're looking at right now, are the frame rails of the build, right? Let's just say these will be like six foot. This is gonna have two long frame rails and then they're gonna come to an end, obviously. I think I'm gonna attach or, or make my own adjustable mounts here for the TV, because I'd like the TV to be adjustable forward and backward. So I'm like, how can I make the TV adjustable? Forwards and backwards. I'll probably add some like gussets here. I'll probably take my CNC machine, do a, a, a long cut channel on this piece of metal. This will just be like a big line that's cut out, right? Please excuse my poor drawing skills. I'm not a drawer. These two areas that we're looking at, these are tubes with flat pieces of metal that'll be welded onto them. I will absolutely, Maverick, need to create a bong holder of some sort. So then I also am like, well, they'll have to be, the, the two pipes will have to be connected, the two tubes will have to be connected, you know, for rigidity standpoint. So I have square tubing as well. Take a piece of square tubing like this, and then I'll cut two troughs out like that. The two frame rails can sit in that trough, right? Let's say that the floor, I put it on, isn't level, so that'll all be adjustable, and I can screw these up and down. <clears throat> does that make does that make any sense to you guys? I'll do this for the front and the back. You know what, lunatic, you're fucking right. That's exactly what I was gonna do. Holy shit, you're right, man. That's exactly what I forgot. That's what I was gonna do. I'm gonna scratch this idea. So we do have our square tubing. This will also help with the height, cause like I would like to get it a little bit. Like, I don't want to be sitting on the ground. So we'll just have a regular pair, of, like, regular piece of square tubing, and then I will cut out a plate that fits, like, I'll just have it where it flushes up with it, and the plate will come up, have a perfectly cut U, because it's a, the tubing I'm using is an inch and three quarters. Okay, so that's the adjustable foot, I like that. And that's, man, I'm glad you guys are here too, because that's, that's like brainstorming, man. Yeah, I like the idea for number two, I think it's going to be easier and it'll be way more accurate. That's absolutely gonna be the truth. And then the uh, the tubing will sit right in there and I'll weld along the seam of the tube. This is the side profile, the side view of the monitor. Um, it needs to be adjustable. So I'm gonna probably build a, a mount of some sort for the back of the TV like this. The back of a TV just has four dots on it, right? That, that's what the, that's what the back of a TV looks like. And all I have to do is do the math between these dots and between these dots. That'll tell me everything I need to know about the dimension of the mounting plate. That's how that's gonna work. And that's gonna allow the TV to tilt forwards and backwards, right? This will be like how I connect the two. I'll probably put some logos on some metal that goes in between here and that will fit, it'll fit in these slots on both sides. Whole TV will be able to slide backwards and slide forwards five inches, six inches. This will be able to slide like this, be able to rotate. Oh man, that doesn't solve the one issue that I really, I want the TV to be up and down too. Huh. If I want the TV to be up and down, what do I do about that? How can I solve that, buddy? Imagine, let's say that instead of doing the A frame, I did more of like an R frame. Because the TV only weighs 30 pounds. Which is heavy, but it's not heavy. I want it to be simple enough to where it's not gonna take me a week to make but I want it to be complex enough to where it's, it's, it's cool. Although I could just, I could just modify that plate. Dude, all right, I'm fucking stupid, bro. All right, now I can't use the CNC machine on tubing because it's round. So instead, the I'll mount piece of plate that comes down to like here, right? Kind of covers the meeting point of the A-frame as well. And then they'll just have several holes here that'll mount to here. Honestly, I think with the weight of the TV, just just tightening down the bolts on the, the panning thing, these bolts right here, the, where the arrow is, I think just tightening that bolt down enough will be more than enough to set the adjustment. All right, so that is the TV mount. TV mount is done. TV mount V1.69. Bro, what the fuck? Look at this, in the time it's taken me to draw this. Bro, you're fucking nailing this. Wow. That's wild. That's exactly what I'm trying to design. What is going on? What? How have you had that in? That's fantastic. That's amazing. It's like you, the only, the only difference that I would see is the fact that instead of square tubing, you used um, like the full on plates, which I think would be better 
if I was gonna bend the material, but I'm not going to. I actually have some square stock lying around that is like heavy duty for this build, so I'm gonna use that instead. Um, but I'm gonna I'm gonna weld little small versions of these plates onto the square stock. Dude, this is fucking wow, man. Decode gaming, like SolidWorks. If you could teach me how to download SolidWorks illegally, I'd be stoked. Every time I try it, it just doesn't seem to work. Right. Now, I wanna work on the seat next, so keep up with me, decode. Right. Just your basic race seat. The thing is about the seats, if we go and look at our reference photos here, you'll notice that most, if not all of them, this one doesn't, but they have a, a tilt to them. Like you, you sit downwards, kind of like in a in a bucket. You're like, ooh, you know? But this one's got a tilt, you know, you're kind of sitting back, you know? That's like how race, race cars are. So I don't think I want to mount it flat. I think I want to mount it at a mild incline, but that needs to be adjustable too. Let's say these are a frame rails kind of deal. I think what I'd like to do is do a bend, have another, like another piece of tube come up a little bit, do a bend, have a slight incline, have it bend back down. It already has slider adjustments on them because that gives me about six inches giggity of play. The real question is, is do I want to make the seat adjustable? Do I want to make the seat tiltable? I think I decided for the seat to be fixed. See, so yeah, I think that'll be, that'll be easy right there to be fair. The next thing is the, Pedals. So if we look at our reference photos, and these might not be raised, I'm not really sure how I'm gonna do these just yet, but but we wanna make the pedals adjustable. So I think what we'll do, this will be really simple. And then this plate is gonna have mounting holes all over it for the pedals height so it can slide forward and backward and all that good stuff. So I'm thinking that the pedals will just be the adjustability that we're looking for. Cause this is gonna have to pivot. Okay, Dan, I'm tired of this drawing. Let's fuck. And banana, 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 Let's do it again. Banana, 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 banana. And it's gonna have RGB lights, dude. Seat design is solid. This will give us a little. So that's that's fantastic. I like that. Oh my god, Bowie, you sure you good boy? Now it's time to design something I haven't designed. Steering wheel, because it needs to be adjustable too. Looks like the steering wheel can be accounted for just sitting right in the middle, about midway through the seat. Are you gonna add a seatbelt to my rig? You damn right. How do I want to adjust? How do I want to make it adjustable? Man, the proportions are super fucked on this drawing I've done. Then my TV is uh, 150 yards away. Does it irritate you guys that I don't center my work? I never center my work. Obviously, I could put a hinge here. The hinge is not what I'm concerned about. It's the um, everything else. So I like that plate idea. I do like that plate idea. It gives us adjustability long ways. So this is the new powder coating oven I'm getting. I'll be able to do everything. Motorcycle frame, that's, that's the whole reason I'm getting it so I can do like motorcycle frames and wheels and stuff, help with the business. Interior dimensions. Ooh, it's only 30 inches deep. It's not even a full 30 inches deep, it's 29 and a half. So it's really 28 inches deep. So that means I'm gonna have to, if I wanna powder coat the whole rig, I'm gonna have to make it to where it's less than 30 inches in one dimension. Kindergartner drew that. I'm trying, man. Thanks for thanks for making me not feel bad. How many degrees of adjustment? 15 degrees. How, how much is 15 degrees? So here's our hinge point. Yeah, I figured that was about 15 degrees. I like that. I like that a lot, actually. That's starting to look like a fucking thing, isn't it? I don't know how I want this to, to look. I, I, don't, I don't like this, this design that I currently have for it, I just don't know of how else I could do it. This looks like a mess, but like I understand what's going on here. To be fair, I think I, uh, I'm satisfied with this. I think I'm satisfied with the, um, the drawing design. I think I wanna kind of like clean it up in a sketch, so I don't need the tablet anymore. I think I'm gonna transition away from the tablet. All right, that's my side profile of a racing sim just recreated. Hey, pee poo poo. Pee pee poo poo, toasty nacho, you're back, man. This is gonna be subject to change based on, cause like tomorrow I'm gonna set some blocks up and see if I can kind of get an idea, you know, of how I want it. Cause like, you know, I might be like, oh shit, the pedals need to be higher, but I'm pretty sure I want the pedals to be slightly lower. See, the funny thing is, is that like some of the ideas like might get thrown out the window. 
once I start fucking with it, you know? That's a TV right there. I think everybody can look at that and be like, oh, that's a TV, right? These aren't perfect. These aren't the final piece. My TV's floating in the air. You wanna see something really cool? Yeah, are you guys ready? Like, this is cool, right? Are you guys... I'm gonna adjust my TV a little bit. Let's tilt it down a little bit. Let's tilt it up a little bit. I, oh, there we go. My TV's tilted down now, right? Oh, you know, I need to tilt it up just a little bit. Oh, okay, cool. Well, you know what I need to do? I need to, I need to move the TV up a notch so I can do that there. Okay, now it's a little bit higher and we can tilt it some more. Yeah, we did it. Uh, we did that. We did that shit. How are you not an engineer, dude? I mean, seriously, <laughs> this is so basic, it hurts. Like, this shouldn't, it's, it's not as hard as it looks. It really isn't. Like, but this right here, helping me make hinges, like learning how to actuate pivot points, was game changing for me. Once I get CAD locked down, it's like game over for me. And this is gonna be connected on a slider. So like, so then this should be able to slide back and forth on its mount. This is uh, Decode Gaming right now. He's a, he's a guy in my stream who uh, is designing what I'm drawing in uh, SolidWorks, which is ironic because I don't know how to use SolidWorks, but obviously he does. So like, as I've been drawing, he's been designing. That's fucking awesome, dude. Reminds me of like 3DS Max. Like back in the day, I tried to learn how to do my own modeling for um, Halo 2 mods. And it was very similar to this. Okay, so we have the adjustable TV. This will be adjustable. Uh, but yeah, this is basically my design here. But I, I'm gonna call it, I'm gonna go to bed. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna go to bed. I'm gonna see if I can download, if I can get that program to run. Thank you guys, appreciate you. I love you guys. Pork, thank you for stopping by so late. And I will see you later. All right, everybody, that is the end of my designing process. If this interests you, or if you wanna come by and check out my Twitch, it's twitch.tv slash DIWD. I stream pretty much like every other day, usually during the week and the weekends. It's kind of hard to say when I will and I won't, but I'm consecutive. I will say that I've already built this and I did have some changes in my design plans and I'll go through those with you guys when the actual video comes out for that. So keep an eye out for that. The sim rig is gonna be awesome. And thank you guys for the love and support. What? There we go. I hate no! Ah, hey everybody, GG. Ah, Good game. Everybody, GG. Shut up, you fat little. Whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs>